Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC Adinho and I got a game against Oveyok. Uh, pretty bulky offensive team I have to say. Uh, definitely not letting Volcarona sweep for free. But uh, I should be able to easily get up my rocks, but I think Landorus is his rocker. So he could definitely lead off with Lando. Um, still, I'm going into my uh, itself. As he actually leads off with Bisharp, but I guess he does not know that I have Fire Blast. And this is why we run Fire Blast, boys. Let's go. <laughs> so actually, get rid of Bishop. I mean, I guess he expected Stealth Rock, so he went for knockoff there or something. But now he goes into Azumarill, and I'll just go for Rocks. If he belly drums up, it doesn't matter. If he attacks me, uh, and then go. Like, he if he attacks me, he has to go for, uh, he goes for knockoff, and then he has to go for Aqua Jet, which tells me it's Belly Drum. If he doesn't click Aqua Jet here, then I know it's not Belly Drum, so I'm just clicking Explosion. Because if it's Bandit, I th think it's a bit easier for me. But he goes into Amoongus, but Stealth Rock plus Explosion. Yeah, some nice damage. And what I could do now is just go into my Bisharp and looking at his team, I just click knock. He decides to stay in, so that's cool. I guess he could go into his Lendo. Lendo does live anything. I'll only be at plus one after the Divine Boost because Intimidate does lower my attack. But he decides to go into Volcarona. So that's some nice damage. I'm actually just going hard Landorus. Um, I don't think he should allow me to sucker punch, so he's probably attacking here. Yeah, he goes for flamethrower. Perfect. I probably would have lived a plus one as well, but now I'm able just, just to click explosion. If he goes Rodom, uh, that's basically the defogger gone. But he decides to go Lando. Um, let's see. Yeah, he took that pretty well, considering I'm adamant. Uh, but... Then I think it's a defensive Lando. Uh, and yeah, because it's his only potential rock... I guess Bishop could learn Stealth Rock, but <laughs> he, did, he didn't use Stealth Rock on it. But it's, mo it's not very likely, so I think Lando resists the Stealth Rocker, a defensive Stealth Rocker, so... Uh, what I could do... Hmm... His other mods that he has left are Azumarill and Rodom, so I could actually go for Freeze Dry with Nine Tails. Because if he goes into Volcarona, Volcarona has to take Stealth Rock damage, and then I just knock it out. Like, he could really surprise me if this is, ends up being a Scarf Land, though. But first of all, he took my explosion really well. Next up, he, this is his only Rocker. So we'll see. Yeah, I go first. I knock him out with uh, freeze dry. That's perfect. Um, he goes into the Rotom, so I think he wants to defog. Uh, I'll just bring in my B sharp. Yeah, it does go for defog. And I get the Defiant boost and now I kill something with knockoff. Had he gone for something like Volt Switch, then I would have kept my Stealth Rock, so... It would have been a win-win for me anyway, but now I just knock him out. Uh, I saw I was faster because I took Hail Damage first. So, he wasn't running more speed than me. Now Azumarill actually comes in. But I can just Iron Hat this, I definitely live uh, Aqua Jet, yeah. And he dies. And now he only has full Corona left. Um, I'm just gonna knock off here. Even if he kills me, that's fine. I have a Terrakian in the back. And if he actually does click Flame Tower, I'm going into Night Tails. Like Quiver Dances. But if if he did click Flame Tower, I would have gone Night Tails, Encored him, so that he would have been would be locked in, and then I could just spam close combat with Terrakian. But yeah, pretty clean game. Uh, this is where the Fire Blast on a Zelf comes in. This is why I like uh, Naive or Hasty better, because she could run Fire Blast next to it. You, you are running a focus sash anyway, 
So it doesn't matter that you have that lower defense or special defense. But yeah, rega regardless, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, check out my Discord server. Oh, yo, what's up, guys? My name is AFC Adinho. I got a game against Stameless. It's running a hyper offensive team. I think it's going to be Memo uh, Suicide Lead. Um, I think Rotom does give me the best matchup against him. Because um, on anything else, I can just Volt Switch. Uh, obviously, need Clefable healthy. Kind of needs it. Kind of needs to deal with Conkeldor and Dragonite. So it's gonna be a rough game. Uh, usually with against offensive teams. Um, he could have Endeavor, but I'm still going for Hydro Pump. Because uh, he, he chose to go for Rocks. And now I can just knock him out. And I can keep Rotom as a sack later. Yeah, he does go for Endeavor. And I actually miss Hydro Pump. This is, this is actually really bad. <sighs> yeah, he knocks me out with Ice Shard. Because I would have killed him. But now I have to go Weavile, first of all, I have to switch into Rocks, and now I have to lock myself into it in a deck and it can bring in Conkeldor. This really sucks, but I have to go for knockoff, there's no point pursuing here. That Hydro Pump really, really put me down. Uh, yeah, he does end up going into Conkeldor. Um, I'm actually going to knock off this, because... Uh, the odds of him clicking Mark Punch that was really low. He did go for knockoff, predicting me to switch. So that ends up working out for me. He might go for the Mark Punch here, so I am go going to bring in Clefable. Okay, nice. And hopefully he doesn't stay in here. Even if he does, though, he doesn't have his Flame Orb, so I'm just going for the Rocks. Um, I can I could see him switching to Togekiss. Bisharp, maybe. Okay, Bisharp. But I get up my rocks, and he's most likely going for sword stance or knockoff. Uh, I cannot afford to take damage on Clefable because it needs to deal with Conkeldor and Dragonite. Um, so I think I have to go hard Gliscor. He might just go for the knockoff, but I just need the Earthquake damage off. He does go for sword stance. I don't knock him out with Earthquake, um, but I still need that damage. Yeah, and he just pro yeah he just goes for knockoff and knocks me out, and he he was life orb, okay. So now I have to go into Weavile, and I I have to click Ice because he's gonna die to rocks. This is what I mean. I I took unnecessary damage with Weavile because I missed Hydro Pump, but I have to make this play because Bishop kills everything else. So we knock this out. Now Conkeldor comes in. Um, I cannot defuck anyway, so I might as well I let this die. Because he he might as well go for um for knockoff himself, so I'm just gonna ice shard. As he goes for a mark punch. Could have brought in Clefable, but if he went for knockoff that would have been annoying. Um what I could do now is bring in Clefable. My Clefable is actually faster than a max speed Conkeldor. Max speed Adamant Conkeldor. Uh, so he might just stay in and get some extra chip off on this. Because he cannot really go hard at uh, Togekiss. I guess he could go into uh, Togekiss, but he cannot go into Dragonite. He does end up deciding to stay in though, so uh, that Conkeldor is gone. Um, let's see what he does. He goes into Togekiss. He takes Rock's damage first. Even though he could click Aura Sphere here, I'm still going into the Heatran. Because I literally need Clefable as healthy as possible to deal with the Dragonite. And he ends up going for Air Slash. He misses the... Um, if he's Scarfed, it's good for me, but I'm gonna click Toxic. I don't want to miss a Magma Storm on a potential switch. And I also don't want to miss a Magma Storm when he spams Air Slash. Because he crits me now. But I do 
not get flinched and I do connect to, with Toxic. So that is really good. And yeah, I don't know if he wants to uh, wear me down with Air Slash, but I'll just spam Magma Storm. If he switch, then I have to pray it hits. Okay. So he will eventually die and poison ticking as well. Um, also has to switch into Stealth Rock. So if he stays in again, then Togekiss is guaranteed. Okay, he's guaranteed dead. So. It uh, doesn't really matter what I click right now. Uh, still think going for Magma Storm in case he goes Dragon Knight. But he goes for Air Slash, he does flinch me, but he should go down to to the poison. If he goes Mimikyu, I have to taunt him. I cannot let Mimikyu go to plus 4, because plus 4 Shadow Sneak might kill my Among Us. So I have to, I have to go for taunt here, as he Swords Dances. I guess if he's Drain Punch, it's possible for me. Because then he most likely won't have Shadow Claw. The Shadow Claw should still kill him. Oh, oh, it is actually Drain Punch. So there is a chance he's not running Shadow Claw. He's also Life Orb, so I can Spore him. I resist Play Rough, resist Drain Punch. Shadow Sneak doesn't do too much to me. Does go for Play Rough, does 51. But I Spore him. I have to go for Clear Smoke though, even if he goes into Dragon Knight, that's the damage I need, basically. So I Clear Smoke this away, nice, and break this, and I need to Giga Drain. He actually wakes up on the first turn, that's lame. That is so lame, because if he didn't wake up, I would have spammed Clear Smoke right now. Goes for player off. Okay, I spore him again. I just clear smoke here. And with Giga Drain and Black Sludge, I should become healthy. He actually gets a first turn wake again. Are you kidding? Ah, then I lose because he can play rough me. Or he can decide to sword stance. I'm gonna moon bless there. Does end up playing rough, but he misses, okay? So theoretically I should win here because he takes a uh, damage here and he should not be able to two hit Kayomi without a dragon dance. And if he's banded still live two earthquakes with leftovers because I still have my leftovers it didn't get knocked off but he actually has iron head am I killing this though <laughs> I am not this is ah this is really annoying <laughs> damn man yeah he just knocks me out so that's <laughs> So we end up losing this one. Uh, was really close though. Um, but. Oh. I got automatically locked out. Um, but anyway, that was a really close game. Uh, it just sucked that I missed the Hydro Pump in the beginning. Because uh, as you could have seen, that put me in a really bad position because I had to bring in Weavile. Because otherwise, the Mammoth Swine would just endeavor my all my other mods. Um. So I had to bring out Weavile, which means he could have brought in Conkel there, and well, that was a horrible positioning as well. And then the Among Us, uh, I mean the Mimikyu, just keep... Yeah, the first turn is always guaranteed, but we ba I basically see the second turn as the first turn. And he got, he got those first turn wakes on both spores. If, if I got an extra sleep turn, on, uh, if I got an extra sleep turn on the first spore, 
then I would have kept my mimic, uh, my Amoongus above 50%. So that me that means if the Dragonite wanted to lock himself into Iron Head, he wouldn't have knocked me out. So he would have needed to flinch me. But all I needed was the clear smog damage. Because that clear smog damage plus Steldrox would have put the Dragonite into um, into into Moonblast range. But because he got the first turn wakes on both spores, uh, he was able to 2-hit Kiyomi with the Dragonite. But yeah, he's, he was also running Iron Head and Choice Band. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, those things those things just happen. Uh, obviously Hydro Pump could miss, and obviously he could wake up on the first turn of sleep. But yeah, uh, still, it's unfortunate. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy that battle. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Check out my Discord server, link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.